Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your Tarot After Dark end of August love reading with me, Miss Michiste. Leo, we are looking into your love life for the remaining time of August. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and this reading can resonate for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are returning, Leo, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of my beautiful Leos out there. Leo, happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful birthday season with many, many years to come. So Leo, stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac sign feelings for you for this remaining time of August. So we are also doing the you versus them spread your energy on this side, your person or who you will be connecting with energy on the other side with the mutual energy between the two of you down the middle. Please do keep in mind Leo and Leo cross watchers. For some of you, the reading may resonate backwards, reverse flipped. You may end up on their side. They may end up on your side. So please assign the roles as you wish. Take what resonates and leave what does not. All right, here we go, Leo. Your energy is strength, there you are, and judgment. All right, two major arcanas. In your mutual energy with this person is the Fool and the Nine of Swords. In your person's energy, they have the Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, Leo, you look um, very controlled here, coming in as Strength and Judgment. Um, I feel like there is a second chance that you either want or somebody is wanting with you. But there is a sense of uncertainty that you are having here. So with strength coming in, Leo, you may have been feeling very stressed out recently with your love life. Um, Nine of Swords is here in the mutual energy. So it looks like you both have been overthinking this connection. Um, specifically overthinking if this relationship will have a fresh new beginning. So this person comes in as the Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So whoever this is here, Leo, they do have very deep feelings for you. But with the Four of Pentacles, you'd like never know. And that may be why you are so pulled back because it's hard for you to read this person. And I almost feel like this person is a bit um, emotionally confusing to you. Whether they are doing it on purpose or not, we'll keep clarifying and I'll see if I see anything. But this person, they love you, but they have a very hard time with expressing it, showing it, whatever the case may be. And I feel like because of this person's lack of expression, it's causing you to feel pulled back. You're kind of like, look, I'm not going to give any more of myself to somebody who can't even um, I want to uh, it's like this person can't emotionally express themselves or like they have trouble with wording emotions or showing them something along those lines and Leo you're open-hearted you are in the energy of affection attention love appreciation so for somebody who if you're dealing with somebody who's in love with you but can't show it oh my gosh that must be such a struggle for you Leo and that's probably why you come through a strength because like you want to have this beautiful beginning with this person where you two are open emotionally and just happy. But with this nine of swords and the mutual energy, their closed off energy 
makes you want to be closed off. You don't want to be the only one who's showing emotions. And I feel like this person has their moments of showing you their emotions. And then when you finally feel more comfortable with them, like, all right, they're showing their emotions again. They're finally showing me more love and more affection. Let me make that judgment call and open up a little bit more to them. Boom, they close off. It, it like, it's like night and day with this person. It's like you don't know if they're going to wake up loving you or if they're going to wake up ignoring you. And it's kind of... For them to come in as the Queen of Cups doing this, oh my gosh. I almost feel like this person, I don't feel like they can handle their feelings for you. I think that's what it is. I don't think they felt like they would fall for somebody or maybe fall for you specifically. And I almost feel like since they have fallen in love with you, Leo, or they are falling for you, they are very much struggling with their feelings. Um... We have Leo energy. We have Aries energy. This person has the Queen of Cups. They could be a water sign, but I don't really feel like they are. Um, if this if this is any water sign, they're giving me like Pisces energy. I feel like a Pisces would do this. But they could also be Earth. Well, let's clarify this here for you, Leo. I need Leo's energy, the mutual energy, and this person's energy. I feel like for some of you Leos, you may fight and argue a lot with this person as well. If this is a past person, for some of you, judgment it is. Um, I feel like you two have had a lot of conflict in the past. So with judgment, we have the Page of Cups. Nine of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords. And this person has the Empress. Okay. Here you go, Leo. I told you. They show a little bit of emotion or a lot of bit of emotion while you're pulled back because they have lacked beforehand. They show the emotion. They close off when you make the decision to open up. Page of Cups. So you're opening up very careful to this person now. You're being very cautious with the way you show your love to this person and how you show their how you show love to this person. Because I feel like you just don't want to feel invalidated anymore. And you don't really know how long their loving energy is going to last. So you're kind of like very careful now with this person. For some of you, this is a past person with the Page of Cups coming in with an apology. With them having the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Pen I'm not, not, oh. the Four of Pentacles, and the Empress. I feel like this person is holding on to you for dear life. They really want growth with you they view you as somebody that they can really be with forever but they struggle with the emotional part of things knight of swords here there will be very fast-paced communication between the two of you i feel like this person is going to start saying more the knight of swords is flying from their side so i do feel like this person is going to be a lot more talkative they're going to try to be a lot more open you're in the energy of being cautious with the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Swords, I feel like you two, um, as time moves on, you're going to get out of the stress of this connection a little bit, but I don't know. This person is like a little bit all over the place. Let's clarify this here, Spirit, for my beautiful Leos. Page of Cups with the Three of Swords. There's that apology for hurting you or making you feel hurt. Knight of Swords with the Hierophant. The Empress with the Emperor. All right. Leo, Leo, Leo. This person's feelings for you are causing them to freak out. They're freaking out. I don't know why they're freaking out. 
You have the Three of Swords. This person is hurting you because of their lack. And then they keep apologizing. And they keep hurting you. And then they keep apologizing. And then they keep hurting you. The re this person, they want to be with you very, very heavily. The Empress and the Emperor on their end, they want this relationship to be stable, committed. We have the Hierophant here and the Mutual Energy, which is showing that you also wouldn't mind commitment and stability with this person but you're more of in a position like I need to be able to rely on your love and not just think that one moment you have an apology followed with a detachment and then you're apologizing and then you detach and then you apologize and then you detach you're done with that you're over that Leo you're like stop doing this to me because if you don't stop doing this to me I may make a judgment call elsewhere and decide to not give to you anymore they have the Empress and the Emperor. So they're holding on to this vision that you are the person for them, that you will always be stable for them, that you will always be there for them, that you will always match their divine counterpart energy. But for some of you Leos, you're like, yeah, I'm stable for you, but I need you to be stable back for me. So let's clarify this. And it's not only stable in the energy of commitment, it's also being able to rely on the way this person feels for you. And it's not like thinking that they're going to wake up and just fall out of love with you. I feel like for some of you Leos, you fear that because of the way this person is. They, they, they come in as very two extremes. Super loving, this is who I want, you're all I want, and then they close off. And it's causing you to feel like what the heck is going down. So let's clarify this again, Leo. Hierophant, Taurus, energy. So on the three of swords, on your end, we have the hermit. Like I said, like I said, Leo cross watchers. Leo is not wanting to deal with this any longer. They love you. They care for you. But at what cost to their mental health? Because you're, you may be driving Leo a little bit mad. I feel like some of you Leos, you're kind of just like, look, the love is here, but is it worth me having to go through this back and forth crap all the time? On the Hierophant, we have the Six of Wands, victory, feeling good with one another, feeling happy, giving each other that beautiful effort, giving each other that attention, that reciprocation. And their emperor here, clarified by the two of swords. So this person, I don't know what the heck is wrong with this person. I don't know if they fear heartbreak, they fear rejection, they fear being vulnerable. But this person is not comfortable with the feelings they have for you. It, it's just like making them feel uncomfortable. Like it's, it's weird. And you're like, why should it make you feel uncomfortable? Don't you want love? Don't you want to feel connected to someone? Don't you want to have a beautiful relationship? And it's like, they're, they're holding on to that vision of this Empress and the Emperor just being amazing, but they, they are not taking the correct actions towards getting there. They just think it's going to happen magically. Like, no, we need to connect at a soul like level so we're going to clarify this one more time leo and see how this energy transpires and then we're going to get the oracle in the dual spread and then each zodiac signs feelings for you they are trying to really really avoid the feelings they have for you they cannot help how strong they feel for you they're really trying to fight their feelings all right let's clarify one more time some of you Leos, you may be trying to fight your feelings for someone. This could be backwards. The Hermit with the Two of Cups. Yep, you want that real love. You want that real connection. Six of Wands, the Five of Swords. Two of Swords with the King of Swords. There they go. Back to being closed off. And back to causing 
crappy energy for this connection. So for some of you, this is the person that you're in a relationship keep doing this to you. For others of you, this is a past person who keeps doing this to you. I wasn't going to clarify again, but I am. Spirit for Leo. Two of Cups here with the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you may free yourself from this connection or this person. Five of Wands with the Page of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, I can't make this up. There they are. Causing drama, detaching themselves, and then boom. Sorry, Leo. Let's start over. Sorry, Leo. I don't... What, what creates this change for this person? And they are so emotionally disconnected to themselves. It's crazy. King of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> but they want to marry you. This makes no... This person, I don't know what the heck is wrong with this person. Leo, you have the Two of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles here. So I do feel like for some of you Leos, you may free yourself from this person. For others of you Leos, with this Page of Pentacles here, you may feel good that they're giving you another apology, wanting another chance with you here with this Nine of Pentacles. But they keep coming in with page offers. This person definitely needs to mature emotionally so this connection can strive so let's see here Leo spirit can I please have um, Leo's energy the mutual energy and this person's energy I'm gonna throw this out there for some of you Leo's for some of you this person may be in a relationship with someone else and they can't help but they feel I way about you because we do have the Emperor and the Empress here. So if you're not in a couple with this person, there is a very high possibility they are already coupled up, but they can't help the way they feel about you. That may be why you go hermit on them so often, because they keep putting you in third-party energy. For others of you, like I said, you're already connected to this person. They want this. They really want this at a very high level as well. But they, their feelings for you are causing them to feel very... Uncomfortable. I just feel an uncomfortable energy. I don't feel like this person has either fallen for someone like this before, felt like this before. Even if this person's in a relationship, they still can't help the way they feel about you. For others of you, Leo's in a relationship with this person, like they just, they just, they're not used to feeling these feelings and they don't really know what to do with them, basically. So let's see, your energy, we have understanding. So you're understanding what this person does, what they do, who they are. Mutual energy, we have destruction, obviously. That's why there's all these apologies and f um, fresh starts coming in. And on this person's energy, they have material world. So this person may drown themselves in their work to kind of distract themselves from their feelings for you. Let's clarify this once again. Spirit for Leo, the mutual energy and this person they are connecting to. We have understanding with grief. Yeah, some of you are understanding that this person is only going to cause you sadness. Destruction with um, communication. I feel like the way they communicate just doesn't work that well. Obviously, the way they open up isn't really doing anything for you either. Material world with inner child. Yeah, with them getting inner child, they do not feel comfortable feeling these feelings. They'd rather be set on materialistic things. Definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. Let's clarify this. We have grief with commitment. Mm, but some of you Leos... Despite the sadness, you still do want to be with this person. Communication with regret. So you both are regretting um, maybe words that were said that weren't met or actions that were taken that caused destruction for this connection. And inner child with vibrations. All right. Spirit, please clarify this energy again. 
Spirit, please clarify this for my beautiful Leos. Some of you, you really want commitment with this person who is committed to somebody else. Seriously. And some of you, they're not even committed to something else. They're just committed to other things that aren't you. And it's like, hello, I'm standing right in front of you. Commitment with devotion. There they are giving you their time and energy. Regret with ascending. And vibrations with crossroads. So this person making a decision to give you more of their energy after kind of dealing, okay, dealing with their energy of inner child healing. I'm going to clarify theirs. Why is material world here with inner child and crossroads with vibrations here, spirit, for whoever Leo is connecting with? Pause. Yeah, they do this all the time. And with pause, we have... Refocus. So this is what this person does. They feel their feels towards you. They drown themselves in whatever they feel most stable with. Materialistic, money, whatever the case may be. To try to figure out how to vibrate higher for this connection. So what they do is they create a pause for the relationship. Where you then pull back. Get upset. Get sad. Feel like you may be losing this person. For some of you, they do this back and forth because they have another relationship that they are actually in. And with refocus here, then they come back to refocus onto your energy. So, Leo... You have the choice to make. What do you want to do with this person? I see some of you kind of hermit on them saying, you know what? No, I'd rather have something I can count on and that will follow through. Others of you, this person is going to devote their time and energy to you. They're going to try to level up this commitment and you still have the choice on what you do there. But I do see you feeling good with a connection by the first half of September. So it could be with this one or it could be... Um, you stray away from this one and you instantly find somebody who is better for you. So, pretty, pretty interesting reading. A little bit different than the normal message I get out for Leos, but things change. Um, you know, energy transpires in transition. So, let's see here, Leo. All the way from Aries to Pisces, we are getting each zodiac sign's feelings for you. We're going to get two cards per zodiac. Let's go a little bit deeper. Spirit for Leo, thank you. All right, here we go. Aries feelings for you is justice and death. So if things ended between the two of you or Aries put an end to the connection or you changed something here or ended things, Aries does want to receive their justice. They do want to make things right. They do want to receive balance here for this connection. Despite who caused an ending or a change, they do want to make things right and be fair with you. Or they may want justice from you there, Leo. Taurus feelings for you is the Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So Taurus may feel like you put them in a friend zone. So they feel that um, it's best to walk away from you because they do not want to be in a friend zone. For some of you, Taurus wants to get out of the friend zone and they will attempt to do this. For others of you, a Taurus may have walked away from you and now they are interested in reconciliation. Um, some of you, a Taurus may feel like you walked away from them for a third party or vice versa. Next we have is Gemini's feelings for you as a Seven of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Oh gosh, do not trust Gemini. Gemini makes it seem like you are everything that they've ever wanted in their whole entire life, but they are a liar, cheater, stealer, user. Um, for some of you, Gemini looks at you this way, but I kind of feel like Gemini is this way. Um, so be very weary of Gemini. Gemini makes it seem like things are fine and dandy, but in reality... They have ulterior motives. Some of you, hey, this is what I was saying in the reading. Some of you, you may be connecting to a Gemini who is in another connection with the Ten of Cups. Maybe even married. Holy moly. Okay, next we have is Leo's feelings. No, Cancer's feelings for you as the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So Cancer is definitely interested in pursuing you here. 
they are going to be expressing to you their emotions as well with this ace of swords so you definitely could be hearing from a cancer there's going to be reaching out to you and telling you that they have feelings for you or openly pursuing you more emotionally in terms of communicating that to you leo's feelings for you is the devil and the six of swords so leo oh sorry 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 I always do this. I always hit it. Um, so Leo wants to move away from the toxicity of this connection. So if you and Leo are very toxic or codependent or argumentative with one another, Leo definitely wants to heal this and move forward with you. You are Leo, so take what you want with that. Some of you Leos as well, you are moving away from somebody who is toxic. Virgo's feelings for you are the sun and the two of pentacles. So Virgo has clarity they need on this connection and now they are trying to make a decision. So they're either trying to decide if they should give more to this relationship or drop this relationship altogether. Um, Virgo may feel like you are deciding as well because the sun and the two of pentacles here. This could actually be that Virgo feels like you are deciding to drop the connection or to offer more. But it could be either way. We have Libra's feelings for you. Ten of swords, king of pentacles. I do feel like Libra wants... Okay, I feel like Libra wants to put an ending to a bad cycle between the two of you and have a much more stable and committed cycle. But I do feel like for some of you, Lib for some of you Leos, Libra may either feel like you ended things with them or that they really want to put an end to a cycle that is just getting you to nowhere so you two can have a much more committed and strong foundation with one another where you two really feel reliable and... Re not responsible reliable and just there for one another so libra may feel like you're not really there for them or vice versa and there may be a new start where you two just show more commitment towards one another next up is um scorpio we have the hanged man and the knight of swans all right, so if Scorpio is a player, they may be changing their player ways for you, Leo. For others of you, I do feel like a Scorpio it was feeling a little bit stuck on how to come towards you. And it looks like they are figuring out how to come your way. Some of you, you may have a Scorpio who is a secret admirer and they are going to be making themselves known. Next we have is Sagittarius feelings for you, Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords. Sagittarius feels like um, you cut them off or that there is drama between the two of you. I do feel like Sagittarius feels cut off by you and they're really stressing about this. For others of you, a Sagittarius wants to say something to you, but they don't really know how. They're overthinking it. They're stressing out about it, but it does look like they want to make moves your way. They just are not really certain how to initiate that capricorn's feelings for you queen of wands four of cups so capricorn is very attracted towards you here but they do feel a little bit rejected by you um they may feel like you're not really giving them much emotion or vice versa you're not getting much emotion from your capricorn there is passion there is attraction between the two of you but there is a lack of emotional openness or somebody feels ignored here whether it's you or capricorn there is an energy of lack of open emotion or just not really feeling emotionally connected to them aquarius feelings for you five of wands nine of wands so aquarius is putting up a barrier between the two of you because they do not want to deal with conflict anymore so they may feel like you cause conflict for them or aquarius may cause conflict for you and they feel like you're blocking them out but nonetheless you two are definitely um in a very tense position with an aquarius uh, I do feel like for some of you, Aquarius is very determined to get through this challenge. But I feel like for a lot of you, it's definitely causing a barrier to be between the two of you. And Pisces feelings for you, three of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So Pisces is pulling back here because they either feel like you're comfortable where you are. Or Pisces may feel like you don't care to have compromise or closure with them. Pisces is pulled back. Um, it could be because of a third party situation they feel the need to be pulled back, pulled back from you or they just feel like you wouldn't be interested in compromising or having closure with them. I feel like they wouldn't mind working together with you but they would not be the initiator. Pisces is very withdrawn here and they don't really want to make any actions unless you do. 
So that's what I have here for you, Leo. Pretty, pretty interesting. Very interesting. Let's make sure everyone's out. Okay, Leo, that's what I have here for you. Please do not forget to like this video and I am open for private readings. You can email me at missmachiste at gmail.com and I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.